Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let me put you back on my neck, okay? You don't mind being back around my neck, do you? Anyway, this is part two of, uh, I'm doing this live, so it'd be smarter to just have filmed it and then put it all together, but apparently I'm not smart. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Anyway, it only took about 10 minutes to cook. Put you around my neck. My mom's having trouble with one of her technology things, but look at that. What does that look like to you? A pizza crust? Maybe, huh? I think it does. Now, it's good to use parchment paper. You're going to want to give it a little. Ooh, that's hot. Look at that. So it's not all we done yet because I'm not done cooking it. Because like a regular pizza, you're going to want to put stuff on it. Again, here's your only carbs. There's three carbs minus one gram of uh, dietary fiber. This is just regular tomato sauce, by the way. It's already salted. You don't have to really do anything to it. And you definitely don't want... You can put a fourth a cup on here to keep that three carbs for the whole pizza. Or two carbs for the whole pizza. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm freaking mouth-watering right now. That's about enough. It's about a fourth a cup right there. Maybe a little more, but... Mm. That's really good sauce. I don't know why people don't... It, you have to go out there and buy all the ragu and stuff. It makes no sense. I'm going to keep this simple. This is uh, Target. <laughs> Mozzarella. It's the only kind that uh, they had at Target. We're going to go cheesy as hell with this. Because I'm a cheesy son of a bitch. I like cheese on my pizza. I like cheese on my everything. Let me know if this looks good in the, the camera angle. I've never used this neck thing before. It's just hanging around my neck. So I can use both hands. I don't even know if you can hear me or anything. Or I don't even know if this thing... That's still mozzarella on the floor. Yeah. All right. Some deli. Pepperoni. Which I just dropped everywhere. Boom. You know, one or two slices per slice. I like big pieces of pepperoni. You don't have to mess around with that little pepperoni. Yeah, we got room for one more right there. Look at that. Blam. And I don't know about you, but to me, a little more Kinders. I use this on just about everything in my life. Just give it a little seasoning on there, you know? You can put oregano, do all the regular pizza stuff. But uh, you have to remind, this crust is not a crust. This crust is a chicken strip. Oh, my God, no, it's so good. I just ruined it, but whatever. Ouch. Put this back in here until the cheese starts getting a little crispy. Why did I turn the oven off? I don't know. But now, we get to chat again. Hey, who's here? You can't just watch and not let me know who you are. Because, well, wow, that's bad lighting. Yeah, I run a TV network, don't I? Here we go. All right. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and say uh, things like... Um, hang on. Like uh, this right here on the bottom of the screen. Read the bottom of the screen... Do that, I'm gonna put my cheese away and my pepperoni away, okay? I'll be right back. Did you do it? Are you with Side TV subscribers now? You should be. Did you see did, did you see the chicken crust? Did you see it? Did you see? Do you see? It's cooking right now. It looked like a pizza dough, didn't it? Now, I'm not sure if I made this up. Here's the thing. I did make this up. Uh, I'm just not sure if somebody has beaten me to it. I imagine everything's been done a thousand times. But until someone says, hey, Brandon, look, I did this first. I'm taking full credit for this. 
it's chicken, egg, and cheese, and a little bit of spices and a little dabble of water. Put it all in a powerful blender until it's yeah. Spread it out like dough. Cook it first for 10, 15 minutes. The longer you cook it, you're, you're still, you got to cook it again. So you don't have to cook it until it's <clears throat> completely crispy. Uh, just cook it until it holds together. 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever. And then um, take it out. Let it sit for about five minutes. Um, put some sauce on there. This is, like I said, this is the only carbs in this whole deal right here. And this is like just tomato sauce. There's salt in it and there's tomatoes. Ingredients. Tomato puree, water, tomato paste, water. Why does it say water twice? And uh, salt and onion powder and garlic powder and dehydrated bell pepper and whatever the hell natural flavors are. That's the only thing that's in here. And uh, you get three carbs minus one from dietary fiber, which I've heard is a myth that you shouldn't count that, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, there's two grams of sugar in here. I think that might be the only sugar in this as well. Maybe, I don't know. Is there sugar in cheese? I don't think there is. Uh, there might be some sugar in the pepperoni, but like two little drops or something. And that's it. You mix it all up, like I said. And you, uh, you, I mean, even if you're not on a carnivore diet, this is really, really good. It's like stupid good. Uh, I think I may have blended the chicken dough a little too much. It was a little watery. It was a little, uh, it's holding together nicely. But I think I did blend it a little too much. You don't want to puree it like I did. Uh, you want it like whatever the step before pur pur pureeing is. And uh, that's where you want to be. Yeah, I've tried cauliflower cust. It smells like farts. I, I don't hate it. I don't like it. Uh, you can make it with broccoli. I've got riced cauliflower and stuff. But on the carnivore diet, which I'm on right now, we don't eat any vegetables. No fruit. And uh, cauliflower is one of those two things. But still better than bread uh i have riced cauliflower for when i get like um like chicken fried rice or whatever asian cuisine uh stir fry whatever when i get the cravings for that stuff you cook that up with a little bit of coconut amino some kerry gold butter and uh, whatever vegetables you want to use but again that's not what i'm doing right now eventually i'll be off the carnivore diet when i get down to 220. Uh, right now i'm at 230. i feel good um, and hopefully that keeps up. I don't know how I'm going to feel after this, after I devour this whole ch chicken pizza because I'm, uh, I'm single. My kid's not with me today. Uh, <laughs> so it's, uh, that's all for me. I could choose wisely and have like a slice or two today and then the rest tomorrow or the next day. It holds up well, or I'll do what I know that I'm going to do and eat the whole freaking thing probably within the next freaking hour. That's just who I am. That's just what I do. That's how I got in trouble in the first place. But at least I'm sticking to my diet. I can eat this whole pizza. And so be it. I'll get a sodium headache probably. Maybe a little uh, kicker will be like, okay, with the salt, that's enough. But if you think about it, um, yes, eggs naturally have some salt in them. The chicken comes with like 100 milligrams of sodium for some reason when it's frozen. I guess it's preservative. Uh, the tin, the kinder seasoning, that's salt. Um, there's a little, there's salt in the, in the sauce. There's salt in the cheese. There's definitely salt in the pepperoni. So this isn't, it, it's on the carnivore diet. It is a healthy option opposed to a, a dough pizza, a bread pizza, but I do need to watch my sodium. I do need to watch my sodium. So uh, eating this whole pizza would be ill-advised if you're hypertension or high blood pressure, which my blood pressure lately has been fantastic ever since I started. I'm going to waste away to nothing. No, there'll always be something here. I'm still 230 pounds. You know, I was 260 a month and a half of two months ago. And, uh, you know, just wanted to try things. You got to try things. Like I said in the last part one of this video, something may work for your friend and you'll try it. And then you'll be like, 
this does not work for me. Everybody's body is completely different. You could have a twin sister and the diet would work for her and not you. Um, again, this is what works for me. So I'm sharing it with you. Uh, I own a television network. I do large public events and I'm an you know, author and all this stuff. I think I would eventually like to not do all of that stuff and just do a cooking show with healthy and unhealthy foods. And I do go there, eat that. I do host that show. We haven't done one in about a year and a half, almost two years. Uh, we got a whole new season planned, but yeah, you know, there's always a but. I put myself and my show last before everybody else. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I really do. Let's see real quick what we're looking at. Oh my God, <laughs> that looks fantastic. Oh, okay. I want my uh, I want my cheese a little bit uh, more crispy than that. And I still have a lot left too. I made too much. But I still have a lot of chickens left over for uh, faux fajitas. I do, uh, the carbs that I do get in a day, I use uh, La Tortilla Factory Low Carb. You're not supposed to have wheat. This is like in severe craving cases. Uh, I make breakfast burritos with bacon and cheese and then one of these. These have um, three net carbs each tortilla. Is it each tortilla or is that two tortillas? Each tortilla. So, like I said, as long as you're staying under 10 uh, carbs in a day, you can call yourself, you know, on the carnivore diet. If you're eating more than 10 carbs a day, then you're, you're not on the carnivore diet. You're on keto. Keto is under 50, but they recommend 30. I am stepping on cheese. This is gross. My carpets are disgusting in my kitchen because I cook every freaking day. And it's a small apartment. I have no use for a big house. Again, I'm a single man, and I uh, have a son half-time, and I have a very demanding cat. Uh, what do I need a big house for? I had a five-bedroom house a few years ago, and it, like half the rooms were empty, and the basement was completely empty, and it was uh, a big waste. They're spending thousands a month for nothing, so um, I like my little old weird apartment with ugly cupboards. I would love to paint these. I should have painted these by now, but now I don't know how long I'm going to be here. So uh, the plan is to stay here until the kids out of school, which is like another three years. But, um, you know, think good things are coming up. Good things are happening right now. Like great things, amazing things, things we've been waiting years for are happening as we speak. So who knows what the future brings? And I don't want to know what the future brings. I like to have a vague idea, but I, uh, I, I love the big question mark that's always in front of me. Anyways, tomorrow, for you watching, um, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, March 2nd, we are doing a game show. or We're doing our weekly game show right here. Wherever you're watching this, it'll be on here. And uh, it's called The Top Nines. The Top Nines is basically uh, four people get together. I'm one of them. We all bring top nine lists for... Uh, any given uh, topic. Last week was top nine fast foods. The week before that was top nine 80s movies. Uh, this week is top nine celebrities you would bring back from the dead. So uh, next week is top nine favorite pro wrestlers. There's endless topics. Uh, we're doing that. So if you want to play, we have room for one more. And uh, we would love to have you, whoever you are, uh, join us. It's as simple as me sending you a link. You follow the link. You don't have to sign up for nothing. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't win nothing either. It's just for fun. But uh, it's just a lot of fun. Not, four people bring their top nine lists. Uh, like tomorrow we'll have the top nine people we want to bring back from the dead. And then we will argue and rate each other's lists and uh, come up with a final top nine between all four of our lists. It's a weird little fun thing that we do. It's just uh, you know, a way to hang out when none of us can really hang out. I know COVID's hopefully just about over, but I'm a busy dude. I, when I'm not on the road, I am sitting over there on those giant computers uh, putting together shows. I just put together the new episode of Hellscream Inc. That's on a side TV right now. Just put together today, uploaded uh, Kilroy's Workshop. That is brand new on a side TV right now. And I'm talking a lot. Not, oh, there it is. Okay, we are here. 
Hang on, let me put you back on my neck. Oops, lost my hat. Okay. You guys good? Oh my goodness. Are you freaking kidding me? That looks so damn sexy. Oh. You got to be kidding me. Put this back real quick because I need a special tool. Ah, there's my special tool. I'm going to let that sit just for a bit. Oh, that crust is nice and firm. It's going to firm up even more. It might get a little soggy from the middle. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it is. Look at that. No, that's, that crust is good. That right there has no carbs in it. The whole pizza has maybe four. And that's being liberal by saying that I don't think there's four carbs in this whole pizza. If you get cauliflower pizza, there is a metric ton of carbs in cauliflower pizza. Less than dough, of course. Yeah, it's not as crispy as it normally comes out. That's my fault for pureeing the, uh, the dough a little too much. This is a standard pizza dish. I'm getting four slices out of here. I still got to let it sit for a little bit and firm up. But look at that. That is insanity. That looks so good. I'm just going to let you look at it for a minute. Yep, holds up just like a New York slice of pizza. Like I said, it still has to firm. When it cools down, all of the proteins and stuff in the dough is going to firm up and strengthen. I don't know if I can wait that long because I'm freaking starving. Ow. <laughs> it's really hot. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Go ahead, tell me. I dare you to tell me that doesn't look amazing. And the funny thing is, it tastes as good as it looks. Sorry, I'm still learning this whole thing. Uh, yes. Little flap. 6.4. I don't know what that means. Is my flap showing? Do I have a flap? What's a flap? My carry folds? Oh, I just want to eat this now. I was worried that since I'm doing a live stream, it wouldn't come out that good. Because, you know, something would screw up. No, I think this might be the best one I've ever made. Let me try to bend it over to show you, and it falls right onto the floor. Look at this. All right. The pizza's not a little flop. What are you talking about? This thing's amazing. When it firms up, I'll be able to hold it like a slice of pizza. I mean, I could probably do it now. Yeah, it's just really, really freaking hot. That's pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, pizza, I've missed you. I'm taking full credit for this crap. <laughs> I made this up. I did make it up. I had extra chicken breasts that were about to go bad, and I said, you know, I'm just going to blend it up and make a dough. I don't even know what I was thinking. Put some eggs in there, water. Look at that, though. Look at the crust. God damn, that's hot. Looks like crust to you, doesn't it? Because it looks like crust to me. Oh. There's, there's really no difference. Now, if I could put some onions or mushrooms on this, I'd be even happier. Pineapple. I like pineapple on my pizza. If I had that stuff on there, there's a slight, and I'm talking slight, chickeny flavor in the background but it's not a bad thing i like chicken on my pizza oh my god this is so i'm gonna eat this whole damn thing aren't i damn it oh 
oh, it's firm enough. You can eat it like pizza. It smells like pizza. Guess what? It is pizza. And for those of you on a keto diet, carnivore diet, I'm going to go ahead and say something crazy right now. I've had pizza in New York, Detroit, Chicago, West Coast, East Coast, North and South. I've had pizza everywhere. I had three different styles of pizza on the Sunset Strip just a week and a half ago. None of it was as good as this. The only thing that I'm missing is a crispier crunch, which I have attained in the past while making this. And the outside is pretty crispy. Actually, that bite was really crispy. I like a crispy pizza. That is as good as any damn pizza I've ever had. So if you want the recipe, um, I don't know, message me on Facebook or something. I have no idea. Um, I'll give it to you. I think I've pretty much given it to you in these videos. Do the crunch. It's all chicken. It's all chicken. I'm very proud of this. So I'm going to eat it. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go back to helping out my mom, figuring out how to get YouTube on her TV in the basement. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, too muchy. I've never had New Haven pizza. My rating on this pizza? Oh, dude, it's a nine. It's a solid nine. The only reason it's not a ten is because I'm hoping that somewhere out there there's a pizza that's divine. Uh, but this is solid nine easily. It's so good. It's so good. And just as easy to make as a, a regular dough. The only other test I haven't done yet is like the next day. Because I usually eat the whole damn thing. Fresh out of the oven, it's amazing. Cold pizza though, I'm actually going to probably only eat this one slice, put the rest in the fridge and uh, give it the cold pizza test. I mean, we like cold chicken, right? I like cold chicken. Oh my God. So, anyways, I hope you make it. If you do, let me know. Talk to you later.